Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State, Blind. We are out scavenging, yet again, and uh, we're in this... Is this... Oh yeah, it's that ma mausoleum. The noisy mausoleum, they said. And this is actually the first place, I believe, where we have two levels. I mean, yes, we were in a basement of a... Um, of a uh, house but this is indeed i believe the first one with actually two stories so that's gonna be interesting right first of all let's make sure everyone has their anti-zombie stuff equipped <clears throat> because that's what we need there are a few zombies around hmm right let's go let's go behind the zombie knock it down not with a basic attack now, we want a knockdown, and because we have so many points in melee, this is a lot nicer now. Let's finish it off. Bang, excellent. So what did it have? Probably nothing, no. <clears throat> oh, I have to turn this on. Uh, the game doesn't remember your choice. Um, you have to press to get this uh, icon over things you can actually uh, loot. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, let's knock down this man. Deceased man. He's a deceased man. Who is badly wounded. I uh, don't think we can actually get there in... No, hit him. Damn it. It's not gonna be good. You can't do anything either. Darn it. So just get back. And you can't do anything either. Brilliant. So we're gonna wait, have to wait for this uh, zombie to come back up. And hopefully attack Methyl Canyon. And oh crap, I didn't put uh, the uh, hockey pads on Methyl Canyon. And the zombie actually didn't do anything. That's good. Bang. <clears throat> Very nice. Alright, so before we do anything, let's uh, put the hockey pads on. There we go. We're going to get through this. Yeah, somebody tried to get through the barricade, and they did have a barricade here. So interesting. <clears throat> right, I want everyone over here, so... Come on, guys. There you go. They're closer now, so if I do need their support, they're right there. Now the question is, can I actually go in here? Apparently I can. Hmm. Maybe I should check the outside first, but... Hmm. Gotta be careful, there's quite a few zombies over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back, guys. Come back! Jeez, man. Alright, that zombie is approaching. Is it actually going to come over to us? It might. Huh? Ah, crap, it started. Ah, damn it, and now it's gonna have a full attack. <clears throat> it's gonna try to bite us and then... Yep, there we go. Phew. Didn't uh, manage to bite us. That was good. And apparently Metal Canyon is not going first. That's odd. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Bang. 38. And that was quite nice damage there. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with you at the moment. But I can hit him again with you. Very nice. And uh, he's already dead. Yeah, these bats are working quite a treat. Look at all this stuff. <clears throat> Very nice indeed. There is a rotting soldier over there. Dead looter. That's some ramen. Right, let's get this zombie over here. Whoa, game was sort of spazzing out there. Knock down. Bang. One hit, one kill. Very nice. Uh-oh, that zombie heard us. Let's go, because we don't want to get caught over there. Come on, guys. Uh, the, game, the game is sort of spazzing out at the moment. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. We just waited for that uh, zombie to run over there. And now we're just going to walk up to it and smash its skull in. Oh, isn't that nice? There we go. And bang. Very nice. Savage corpse. Yeah, they have quite a few um, things on them. That's nice. Oh, yeah, this was some kind of a... Shelter here, look, they've got fuel tanks, generators, and I, what I'm guessing happened is these stupid looters... Why is the game spazzing? Look at this. Shit. Ah, crap. The game does not like this place at all. 
it's going, you know, it's, it's usually flat 60 frames per second. But over here, it's just sort of really spazzing out and going down to 8 sometimes. It's really bizarre. Don't think it likes this place with two levels. There's quite a few zombies here. We'll have to be careful about that. Hopefully this one doesn't have enough to attack. Mm, no. I am guessing it does not. Alright. Let's uh, smash its face in. 45, that's not bad. Max is really good with melee. <laughs> Max has maximum effect. <clears throat> Wow, lots of materials here. I do like that. There's a dead man here. Some fuel tanks. So many zombies that can see us from everywhere. Yeah, I think the game... But, but then again, look. If I look at this place, this is flat 60% normally. It's going just fine. But then all of a sudden, for some reason... Uh-oh. Crap. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to like some places, I don't know. Um, yeah, this was weird, and I just noticed that all of these stairs are blocked, except this one. Um, I'm just going to wait here. Smash that zombie. Um, yeah, that, that was interesting. That zombie was looking at us and did not approach, but apparently they sort of have a timer. So, you know, even if you're at their maximum sight, I guess, range, um, you still have like, I don't know, 10 seconds to get out, otherwise it will approach you. So that's kind of cool. Bang! Max taking care of business. Gutless corpse. Ugh. Dead man, we've already done that one. There's fuel tanks, that's the interesting part. Yeah, see, there! When you move your people... You don't see the uh, frames per second counter, but I do have it turned on on my recording software in the top left and I can see it dip down to like 30, 37, 36, 29, 28 but only when I move the characters like this yep there we go and you can see them spazzing I don't know what's going on it's bizarre right dead cyclist let's get the dead cyclist who's almost dead <laughs> I think the other zombie will come now no okay I was almost sure I do like the background music over here. Not the combat one, but the background Whoa, 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 96 damage. <clears throat> that was very nice. Let's have some more fuel. How much can Max carry? He's carrying loads, isn't he? <clears throat> oh, I do apologize. All right, let's get in here. And bloody hell, the game does not like this. I think it has, I don't know, something to do with all this stuff. Oh, crap. I didn't even see that zombie. It's not good. Finally. Finally, I will kill them all. Ow. Good. Yeah, the bites are what can, uh, what can infect your people. And we don't want that. Now, the problem here is, if we do too much noise in here... Oh, crap. In here, that could be really bad. Because, well, we have... Uh, you have got to be kidding me. You missed... You useless bastard. Okay, let's see. If I swap with you, I can still attack. Bloody hell. Okay, no zombies seem to be walking at the moment. There we go. <clears throat> Ugh, there's probably going to be loads of zombies here and loads of loot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, crap! I pressed space first! Damn it. Phew. <clears throat> that was lucky. I, I like this place. There's uh, loads of rooms, loads of corners where people can get... I mean, where, where zombies can be found. I really like it. Very cool. And of course, if you were to make noise here with a... Oh, crap! If you were to make noise with a pistol here, all hell would break loose. There's a zombie there. There's probably a zombie in there as well. We have to be so careful. Okay, you're not gonna do anything, so you just stay there for now. Loot the reeking woman. Alright, uh, yeah, knock him down if you can. Bang, very nice. 
and then Metal Canyon will have to finish him off. Can you loot this in the meantime? You can, but there's nothing in there. Alright, Metal Canyon, please. Bang! Lovely. Oh crap, another one coming. I am going to start combat this time. Bang! One shot, one kill. We did do a little more sound than usual. Hmm, there's a dead clerk there. But yeah, this is a horrible place. It was it was full of survivors, uh, apparently. <clears throat> and something went horribly wrong. And as I said before, it appears that um, it was those stupid looters that drove their car through the gates and then, of course, uh, screwed everything up for these people of the shelter because they probably started shooting, zombies came, the uh, the gates were down, so, yeah, not great. Oops, that was my fault. I started combat because I pressed space in order to stop combat, but of course... It was over already. I hear moving. Okay, that's just my people spazzing out. Uh, Max can, I think, not carry any more. Yeah, that's sugar. It's uh, 10 pounds. What, for each or for one? Probably just for one. Let's take it. What? No, that was the dead clerk. I want the coffee machine. There we go. Yeah, but this place is a gold mine. And again, the game is... The game does really not like me moving people in here. Another pistol. Wait, what happened there? There we go. There's a dresser. Nobody in here. Actually, I shouldn't... Oh, there we go. Medicine cabinet. Ooh, lots of stuff. Um, yeah, I wanted to say I shouldn't even be opening that room because it has nothing in it. But I was wrong. It did have stuff in it. So never mind. Ooh. Yeah, there's a zombie up there. Ah, I think I know what's going on. See, when the people move, the game sort of goes between the outside and the inside or something and tries to keep showing you, you know, the, the zombies inside, the zombies outside, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, that might be the problem. I'm not entirely sure. I think that zombie is going to come over. And we should start combat first. <clears throat> Very nice. I'm going to move away, just in case. Yeah, there we go. Bang. Lovely. Right, so let's uh, pick up everything that we can. Wow. I think we're going to be coming back to this place, because it has a lot of stuff. I feel sorry for the people here. Um, seems like they had a fairly nice shelter. But, uh, well, hey... The dead don't need this stuff, right? And we're already at capacity. Look at this. Let's see. Um, you've got almost... F you're almost full. Oh, this is 10 pounds. What is a sack of beans? 10 pounds. Max... No, we, we can't take the sack of beans. Okay, to be honest, I think I'm just gonna go back and come back. When I can carry more stuff, because, um, yeah, otherwise I'm just gonna get confused as to what I have already looted and what I haven't. But this is an absolute gold mine. I'm very happy with it. Come on. Very, very happy indeed. Okay, can't carry that much. Right, let's get out of here. What an awesome place. Spazzing, yes, but awesome at the same time. So much good stuff we found. And the game does not like... Yep, you can see, despite moving over here, you know, even... Where the hell are you going? The game is fine. But when you go near here, I think the game just changes its view, you know, to show you the insides of buildings and such, and then shows you the outside and then inside and so on and so forth, and it does it like, I don't know, 10 times per second. And it just bogs down everything. Bit of a buggy design, but that's sort of a feature of this game by now. Um, yeah, we have to go back. This is a brilliant thing. We are going right back, even though it's really far away. And wow, we're going to be back home the latest we've ever been, I think. Uh, maybe not. Um, 
But yeah, despite, you know, despite all the bugs and everything, um, the game is still quite fun to play for me. I mean, I just, I, I can't help it. I really like inventory management and um, shelter construction and so on. I really like that mechanic and that part of the game. Well, I mean, you know, other games have done this before, but I like that sort of thing. And um, food, 154. That is ludicrous. 8 gallons of fuel, 37 luxury, 35 parts, 5 antibiotics. That is ridiculous how much stuff we got. That's going to be a big morale boost. Uh, but anyway, to finish what I was saying, um, the, the only real complaint I would have here are the bugginess of the game and the general unpolished feel. Um... But again, it's not enough to really stop me from enjoying this game. It can be annoying, but it's not enough to stop me enjoying it. So, that's good. We're gonna go back to sleep, because there's nothing else to do at the moment. Yes. Go to bed. Alright, let's see this. <laughs> Look at this. 155 food. And we consume 63 now because we've got so many people. We've got almost 500 preserved food. That's very nice. Look at this. Food bonus. 20 food. We've got 95 morale plus change today. Very good. And the music is nice. Antibiotics. Melina is still uh, infected, of course. I don't think you can actually cure that. <clears throat> How many antibiotics do we have? Don't really know. Oh, 26. Okay. Fuel, we've got 52 and a half gallons now. That's very nice. Very, very nice. I think I have some uh, infos that would be very valuable to you. Would you like me to tell you? Yes. I just remembered there's a truck stop I stopped at near Harriet the last time I was in Texas on business. Best waffles in the state. They had one special there where they would keep refilling the bacon dish as long as you kept eating it. I'd kill for bacon right now. Literally. I will kill a motherfucker for a piece. <laughs> Get to the point. They were a bit out of the way, and there was a lot of trucks parked there. Assuming they are still there, you should be able to find fuel in those trucks and some food in the truck shop. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I have no idea why I gave this guy a German sort of accent. No clue. I don't know, maybe because of blonde hair? I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, that was surprisingly useful. <laughs> Great, get your gear ready. You're coming along. Uh, thanks, that does help. I can almost smell the waffles and victory. Duck sniffs the air and walks off. Wanted to talk to you about that Gets guy. To get right to the point, I don't want him here. Something about him ain't right. What's the matter, Vic? Don't like being uh, there being more than one angry loner here? I'll handle it. Maybe I can talk him into being a bit more civil. He's helping us out there. He stays. I've been thinking the same thing. Maybe it's time to show him the door. I don't know. What? Maybe I can talk to him being a bit more civil. I already tried. There's nothing on that man's mind except death. You can waste your time if you want, but if he snaps, I'm holding you responsible. I'm not getting rid of him. He's been useful. The way he behaves out there, I almost feel sorry for the dead. Man's got problems. If he snaps like that in here, I'm holding you responsible. <clears throat> Fair enough. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Alive. That's all about all, all, about all I care. What do you want? <laughs> doing fine. I wanted to talk to you today about the decisions uh, made in this shelter. It's been explained to me that important matters are usually weighed by multiple people. I would like to add my voice to this group. Sure, anything else? I don't know, seems like it's introducing religion into government. What? <laughs> he, he didn't say that, did he? I mean, he just said he would uh, offer his advice. No, I don't need God interfering with my decisions. Wait. Did... Does he actually want that? Let's see, I don't know. No, not at all. I just meant that during these uh, desperate times, a spiritual voice may lead more credence, uh, credence to the proceedings. What? I'm not advocating that we quote scripture in support of our decisions. Nothing like that. I'm a big believer in democracy. Even had a few politicians in my church. Um. Okay, but you want a spiritual guidance? I'm not comfortable with that. I'm sorry, I'm still new here and I'm still getting to know my way around. 
What I mean is, there are some here that may not accept some decisions unless their spiritual well-being was taken into account? Uh, what? How about their heads not bitten off account? I could persuade them to see the light in such matters. Hmm. I guess. Is there a catch? And what if I don't agree with your suggestion? Okay. What catch is there? Not at all. Of course, I would expect some slight assistance for my daily services, if only a few odds and ends to better comfort my congregation. I think I can do that. Anything else? I'm sorry. No matter what, I don't feel comfortable with you making decisions for this shelter. <laughs> this is a difficult one. I don't want him babbling on about spirituality and so on and so forth. Um... But it just feels like he would be the kind of person that would be on our side. You know what I mean? Um, I think I can do that. But then again, you, you can't think of just yourself, you know? Um, I mean, I'm obviously not spiritual or religious at all. Um, and neither is my character because I, you know, I sort of roleplay them not as myself, but as they would be. Um, but you have to take into account that some people might be, so they might get something, some use out of this. So let's do that. Uh, no, that's all for now. I should go pray for our continued safety. I'll discuss other matters with you later. Whatever. <laughs> see you later. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I will uh, see you all next time when we continue. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.